Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this background. First open a new document, change the fill to None and let's zoom out. Next select the Line Segment tool and draw a line across the whole artboard. Using the Selection tool move it to the bottom left corner and let's copy it to the upper right corner. Next we will place 5 extra lines in between those two. Press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Now go to Object, Blend and select Blend Options. Set the spacing to specified steps and change it to 5. Go to Object, select Blend and choose Make. Next we will modify our lines. First go to Object, select Expand and uncheck the fill. Now open the Stroke panel and let's change the Stroke weight to 40. Next using the Direct Selection tool select the bottom line and change its color to red. Now select the next one and choose orange, then yellow, green, blue, purple and red again. Next we will change the style of these lines. Select all, open the brushes panel, now click on the brush libraries menu icon, choose artistic, artistic paintbrush and you can experiment with any of these brushes. I'm going to choose the paintbrush wide. Now increase the stroke weight so you won't see the white background. Next we will make an extra copy of these lines and change their brush style. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste it in front. When you go to the layers panel and open the sub layers you can see we've got two separate layers. Let's change the brush style of the top layer to the palette knife and let's duplicate this layer also. Now choose the artistic inked brushes and select the dark ink wash. Next select the middle layer and we will rotate some of the lines 180 degrees. Let's lock these two layers and open the sub layers of the middle layer so you can see it better. Now select the green line layer, press the letter R for the rotate tool, press enter and type 180 for the angle. Now do the same with the orange line and the purple line. Let's close the sub layers and select the middle layer. Now let's resize it a bit. And let's do the same with the top layer. And finally let's add a clipping mask. Press Ctrl 0 to see the whole page, unlock all the layers. Now swap the fill and the stroke, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from one corner to the other. Now press the Ctrl and A keys to select everything, go to Object, Select Clipping Mask and choose Make. And you can leave it as it is or if you like your background to be lighter, select the Rectangle tool, draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard, change the fill to white, then open the Transparency panel and set the opacity to 30. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.